in section 2.1.26, the data in the accompanying table represent the land area and the highest elevation for each of seven states of a country. We're going to complete parts A and B. So here is the column for the states 1 through 7. This is the land area in square miles and the highest elevation, which is in feet. For part A, it says, would it make sense to draw a pie chart for land area? So we're dealing with this column here. A pie chart is a circle divided into sectors. Each sector represents a category of data. The area of each sector is proportional to the frequency of the category. Note that in a pie chart, the frequencies refer to the whole. First, check that there is a whole to compare the parts to. Since the area of each sector divided by the total land area equals the total frequency of the category, it makes sense that the whole would be the total land area of all the states. Since there is a whole, the total land area, to compare the parts to, it would make sense to draw a pie chart for the land area. It has been found that it makes sense to draw a pie chart. The pie chart will have seven sectors, or parts, that correspond to the seven categories, the land areas of the seven states, and the area of each sector is proportional to the frequency of the land area of each state. Now to find the relative frequency, we're going to take the frequency divided by the sum of all the frequencies and divide it by 100% so we can convert it to a percent. Now to find the sum of all the frequencies, we're going to add the values of land areas of all the seven states. So here are all the land areas, and we're going to add them all up to get the sum, which is 52,823. Then we're going to find the relative frequency of each category. So first find the relative frequency for state 1. Well, we determined that the land area for state 1 from our table here is 11,209. We're going to divide that by the sum of the frequencies and then multiply it by 100%. So we're going to approximate it and round it to the to nearest percent, which gives us 21%. We're going to do the same thing for state 2 all the way to state 7. For state 2, we have 5,104 square miles and divide it by the total, which gives us approximately 10%. Similarly, for state 3, we have 13,213. We're going to divide that by the total to get 25%. And we would do the same for the next states, state four, five, six, and then seven. So therefore we end up with, with these percents. And so the state, state one all the way to state seven, the relative frequency then becomes, for state one was 20%, 21%, excuse me, state two is 10%, state three is 25%, state four is 6%, state five is 7%, state six is 18%, and state seven is 13%. And so therefore, we can convert that into a pie chart. Now, we want to be able to take this data and create our own pie chart without having to be able to draw this. So that we, what we can do is we're going to use StatCrunch. So here are the instructions to be able to do that. We're going to be using the pie chart from Summarized Data. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that question. Okay. And so when you open up the question, it says click on the icon to view the table. And then on the upper right hand corner, you're going to see click to copy table. And then we're going to open this up in StatCrunch. So we're going to take this data and open it up in StatCrunch. So now we have that data in StatCrunch. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that's available for you to see here. Okay, now we're not concerned with the pie chart from raw data. What we're looking for is pie chart from the summarized data. So what we want to do is we're going to first go up to graph and then select pie chart and then with summary and then the next thing that we want to do is we want to select the categories in which is going to be the state and since the pie chart that we're creating is is the land area so we're going to select land area not the highest elevation and then we can leave this as optional and so what we want to do is we don't want to find the count. We want to find the percent of total. So right now, both of these are selected. But if we just select percent of total, then now we know that that's what's being selected. And then we want to order by, well, 
We're going to order by the way the worksheet was ordered. So we're going to go ahead and select the worksheet. And then from here, we can go ahead and then compute. And then if you notice up here, here's our land area. And the color scheme is a little bit different, but it is giving you the same uh, pie chart. And as you can see here, it's not rounded to the nearest percent. But in this case here, we have state one, which is 21%, state two, which is at 10%, rounded to 10%, state three is rounded to 25%, state four is 6%, 7% for state five, 18% for state six, and 13% for state seven. Okay, now in part B, it's asking us, would it make sense to draw a pie chart for the highest elevation, meaning the other column? Well, recall that in a pie chart, the percents refer to the whole. We would first check that there is a whole to compare the parts to. Now, since the highest elevation of each sector divided by the total highest elevation does not represent the relative frequency of the category, it does not make sense that the whole would be the total highest elevation of all states. So since there is no whole to compare the parts to, it would not make sense to draw a pie chart for the highest elevation.